family. But believe me, believe me, I don't want to cry, okay? I don't want to cry. I've never seen a girl, a girl folding their clothes to use them as sanitary pads. I have never seen that in my life. I've never seen that. I've, ne I've never known the girls out there that look so good and nice and outside here and they're suffering inside. I felt like, oh God, help me. Maybe I should donate something to this girl because honestly, she's suffering. Why would someone do that? I grew up in a village. I went to school in a village. When we were being taught about the sanitation, about these things, I never ever came across the girls who are folding, even in my own village. I never came across girls who are folding clothes because the sanitary pads in Kenya, they're not expensive. They're not, guys, they're not. You saw the other day when Ruto wanted to add to put some taxes on them, how people were crying and, and running over it. They were like, no, 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 you can't do that. Because these are things that everyone, even including those in the villages, they must afford. They must afford. Guys, these things, all these girls must afford. I could afford sanitary pads from my own pocket money. I don't, can't remember the last time I told my parents to get me sanitary pads, but by the end of the day, I could get my sanitary pads. I was so shocked. My girl lifestyle, thank you so much, Ma. Is it this? Greetings to you, my dears. I hope that you're fine wherever you are. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time zone, and also the time that you will watch this video. So my people, hey, before you watch this video, actually it is giving me wahala. My tripod is giving me wahala. I think I need a new one. So guys, before you watch this video up to the end, please give it a thumbs up. It means the world to me. And actually it is the only way, uh, best, best way in which you can support a content creator. It is so early here in Kenya, just getting ready for work. Hey, and it is so, so cold, like it has been raining all through. So my people, I don't know whether you know about Joyce's diary. Joyce came out yesterday and did a live stream. And in that live stream, she talked about one specific content creator called Paris Momo. I know if you've been following me for a long time, and if you are a Team D or a Team Marwa, you know who Paris is. Paris is the first PA for Marwa. And actually it was Paris, uh, Paris who came up with the issue of PA, because it was Paris, Minhawi, and then the current PA. So my guys, there are so many things that Joyce said about Paris. Hey, hey. In fact, I don't know what to say. Because you may never know the truth. We may never know the truth. And the reason is because we were not there. I know we can all agree to that. We were not there. Personally, I have never been to Nyabohanse. But I know where Nyabohanse is. Not that I don't know where it is. Actually, I know the location. Because I always go to Migori. Migori has a special place in my heart. I always go to Migori. So I know the exact location of Nyabohanse. But I've never been there. I've never interacted with Paris. But most of the time we learn through what people tell us. Hey, Joyce came out here throwing daggers that Paris is a dirty woman. Eh, hmm, tufiako. Just like the way our Nigerians say, hey, tufiako. <laughs> Look at that lady, the way she's so beautiful. Actually, let me attach here her photo for those who do not know who Paris is. So that at least you can see, hey, this lady is cute. She's gorgeous. Actually, uh, the best term to use is gorgeous. Paris is gorgeous, very gorgeous. And you can imagine that is a compliment from another woman to mean that actually she is. 
and then she has uh, that figure you know the figure uh -huh. the body is uh boarding she has she has the real african bam bam hey do you get the tingle i know you know where the bam bam is <laughs> paris has the real bam bam well endowed and she's cute now Joseph came out here to shock us that paris is a dirty woman hey i don't know whether you can believe that or not and remember when Jessie went to Nyabuhanse, she shared a room with Paris. I think uh, for a long time, if I'm not wrong. But now the question is this. Is that the truth? Because, you know, sometimes these people can come out here and when they talk, you are left in limbo. Like sometimes even you don't know what to believe. Hey? And then now. Okay, before I go, I, in fact, I had where I wanted to actually uh, emphasize on. Uh, Joyce said that Paris cannot afford to buy sanitary pads. Do you get the tingle? Like she cannot afford. And so this is what she does when she's in her menses. She takes a cloth like this, a piece of cloth like this, and then folds it. Do you see the shape? It almost looks like a sanitary pad. And then this is what she uh, puts in her panty to help absorb uh the whatever that comes out do you get the tingle so this is something that is very common very common here in africa here in africa and that is where i want to actually to emphasize on so after this uh, jesus did that carrot came out here to embarrass paris do you get the tingle as much as they have their own beef you know here in kenya when we say beef we don't mean beef beef as in Cow's meat. Ah, ah. Beef means disagreement. As much as they have their own disagreement, carrot, it was not worth for you to come out here and embarrass this woman. Because this is something that is very common here in Africa. In fact, carrot, you are a liar. You are a liar. Let me tell you that. And I'm telling you that with uh, my full chest. You are a liar. In this 21st century, I have seen so many students who cannot afford sanitary pads. I have seen that. I have seen so many girls, so many girls who cannot afford that basic need. And then she comes out here to play with our minds because we are stupid. Are we foolish? That while she was growing up, she never saw girls missing this item that is lying like why would you lie why would you lie where do you come from does it mean that your whole village i heard you say you are a kisser and if you are a kisser i know where you come from somewhere in huisero and all those places kakamega somewhere in kakamega my best friend is a kisser i know where you come from carrot let me tell you something don't tell me that the whole of that village where you grew up, every homestead afforded to buy sanitary pads for their daughters. Why are you lying? What do you want to gain out of this? I have seen people where I grew up using such. This is just an example. Actually, it is an, a handkerchief. Let me show you. Actually, it is a handkerchief. I wanted to use it to demonstrate. And this lady wants to come out here and tell us the way these things are very cheap here in Kenya. They are not cheap to everyone. Cheap is relative. Do you get the tingle? Cheap is relative. What is cheap to me can be very expensive to another person. So there's no way you can go to your audience and tell them that affording sanitary pads in Kenya is something that is so easy. When you go to the shelves, I know you have pads that are as cheap as 30 shillings. But remember, a girl who comes from a very poor family that cannot afford to buy three meals in a day, that even cannot afford to provide breakfast, 
How can they go to an extent of buying sanitary pads for their daughters? How many times have we seen here in Kenya people having initiatives of distributing sanitary pads to girls in Kenya, in Kenyan schools, primary schools and high schools? Actually, Carrot, let me tell you about this because I don't know whether it is um, selective amnesia or what is wrong with you. I have seen the government of Kenya and especially I'm talking about uh, places like in Narok because I worked in Narok for so many years. I saw in Narok the government itself donating sanitary pads to high schools and primary schools in Narok. Why would they do that if these things are, are affordable? Why would they do that? Why would they do that? What are you trying to tell us? As much as you have your own differences with Paris, don't come out here and fool people. I have seen many celebrities here in Kenya having this drive of getting sanitary pads and taking them to, you know, slums, taking them to whatever slums or ghettos, or if you want the garrisons, getting sanitary pads, taking them to schools. And the reason is because we have girls that cannot afford this basic need. So my guys, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. And if Paris Mumo, that is what she, uh, she was using. That means that she cannot afford to buy sanitary pads. Let me tell you something briefly. If Paris was not able to afford the sanitary pads, it is because of so many reasons. If you have been following this lady, you know that her mother is suffering from cancer. Do you get the tingle? And if you have ever, if you have ever had someone in, someone in your family or any person that is close to you that has ever suffered from cancer, you know how expensive it is to manage the disease. Probably most of the money that she was getting went towards her mother's medical bill. Do you get the tingle? And she is just, uh, when she uses the rags as Joyce puts it, it is justifiable because it is all about priorities. Hey, these people, they just speak for the sake of speaking. They talk for the sake of talking. Look at Carrot, saying that she has never, ever, ever, ever seen any lady using those pieces of clothes. Where do you come from? You said you are ashamed of Marwa. You are even ashamed to say that Marwa comes from Kenya. Hey, I'm also ashamed that you are a woman in Kenya who does not know the plight of girls in Kenya. Really? Carrot. Ah, 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 mm -mm. Ume tu danganya. <laughs> Ume tu danganya hapo. Ah, ah. What I've just said in Kiswahili is that, Carrot, you have lied to us. You have lied to us. You know it. You know it. I know you have your own personal differences with uh, Paris because of what she said about you in her videos while she was in Nyabohanse. But you cannot uh, just use that issue of sanitary pads as a rubber stamp to embarrass Paris, bearing in mind you know the history about this lady. And then again, what has really made me come out, come out, is you fooling your audience that these are things that are affordable in Kenya. Let me educate you, my dear. We have reusable sanitary pads. Why are they reusable? It is because they are meant for girls that cannot afford to get sanitary pads on a monthly basis. They use the sanitary pads. They, uh, let me uh, tell you more about the uh, reusable sanitary pads. They use them. Then at the end of it, they wash. Do you get the tingle? They wash, they disinfect them, and then 
they are aired properly, they dry, and then they are stored for the next month. Do you get the tingle? And any person who has common sense, hey, any person who has common sense, you will know that these items are meant for the less fortunate. Actually, if I can afford sanitary pads, I'll just be buying every month when I have my peace. I'll just be, you know, doing what I'll just be buying. I use, I go, dispose them in the latrine, in the pit latrine. Do you get a tingle? So carrots, hey, you will not fool us here. You will not. We are not going to allow you to play with us. We know these things and you know, you know, you know, I know you know. <laughs> Ah, I know you know, I know, and I know, of course, you watch me, or rather you watch me, and I know you'll just laugh there in your small carbon. As much as we have differences with people because of what they say, let us just be realistic. Let us just be realistic. People have suffered, women are suffering here in Kenya, and I just know it is not in Kenya alone, but rather the whole of Africa. And that is why the other day when the government uh, came up with the finance bill, they wanted to increase the prices of sanitary pads in Kenya. And people were up in arms and they were protesting. Not because that they are very cheap. They are already at an average price, but majority of Kenyans cannot afford to buy for their daughters and wives. Do you get the tingle? They can't. So I can talk about this like forever because these are the things that I see like literally on a daily basis. So many girls cannot afford this. So my people, don't be fooled. Eh, hey, don't be fooled. Let her sort her differences with Paris at the periphery. But let her not come here and cheat you that she has never seen. She has. It doesn't mean that where she comes from. And actually it doesn't mean where she is at the moment. Everyone can afford this. Ah, mm. I refuse. I refuse. My people, thank you so much and goodbye for now.